It's your girl Shara and I am back with another video. If you are new to our channel, please be sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you'll be notified every single time we post a video. So let us pray real quick and then after we pray, we're going to dig in. Father God, in the name of Yeshua, we thank you for the food we're about to receive for the nourishment of our body. We ask for this in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys, we are eating. Actually, I am eating from Miller's Ale House, okay? And what I have here is a Cajun shrimp pasta with a side of Caesar salad. And then I have a little bit, if you can see it right here, a little bit of garlic bread to eat with it. And I'm about to dig in and enjoy it, y'all. Let me mix it up a little bit because you know how sometimes that sauce gets uh, kind of stuck in one spot, but we want it all throughout there the whole thing we want it throughout the whole thing so I love pasta like pasta is one of my favorite things to eat mm. pretty good yeah. see I'm trying not to make, mess up my makeup <laughs> eating today y'all other days not so much but today I want to be a little cute eating mm. have some of the shrimp up here mix it up a little bit hold on trying to get it on there y'all it won't cooperate Y'all can see that right there. You see the shrimp and the pasta. Mm. Mm. Has a little spice to it too. This is good. You you might hear some humming. I'm just letting you know in advance. I might be humming a little bit, <laughs> singing a little tune, cause this is good. Also cause I'm real hungry too. Good, good, good. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I need a little bit of the salad, y'all. I love Caesar salad. It's one of my faves. So I'm going to eat a little bit of that. Starting off. They got some wilted lettuce. I hate that, y'all. I don't like lettuce when it's like wilted. And when I talk about in the worst way, not <laughs> when I say that, it's like when it changes the taste of your salad. I don't, mm -mm, I don't play that. But lettuce is one of the hardest things to keep fresh anyway. Mm hmm. The crouton. Sorry, y'all. Mm. 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 How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Let me know how y'all doing in the comments below. Look, I forgot. <laughs> I am drinking ginger turmeric tea, y'all. This is um, ginger turmeric tea. It's from Greenwise. It's a, a brand they sell in Publix. I love this. I'm not a big ginger. I like ginger in food. Stuff like that, but I don't like an overpowering taste of ginger. But it's good because you know how ginger and turmeric is really good for um, health reasons. So I drink this every morning. So I'm having ginger turmeric tea with my food today. And I like it.
like it because it has all the spices in it and it doesn't taste, you know, you taste the ginger, but it's not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Y'all, in my previous video, I think I talked about Wendy Williams. I talked about the movie, but y'all, I saw the... I saw the actual documentary. I watched that yesterday, last night. And honestly, that one is very thorough compared to the movie itself. But pretty good. And to reiterate what I said before, if you want to talk about somebody that pushed through things, she was one of those people. May not necessarily agree with how she handled people <laughs> at times, you know. But when you talk about somebody with perseverance and had goals and they met those goals against all odds, she is one of those people. She's one of those people. But another story I want to talk to you guys about. Hold on, just a mushroom here. Mm. I know you guys heard. This is like a TI and tiny thing going on right now. A rumor or whatever that's going around. You know, I wasn't there, so I can't. I'm not going to verify or get too deep into it. You know, I'm pretty sure you guys heard about it already. But there's one aspect of it I wanted to talk about today. Now, they, um, Tiny has a close friend. Her name is Shekinah. And Shekinah went online. Pretty much what she did was she was trying to defend her friends. But she said a little too much, you know. <laughs> she said a little too much. You know, it's like when, like, you're trying to defend. Like, let's say you have a best friend. And your best friend is cheating on their spouse. And you start talking to that friend's current spouse and, and you're talking you're trying to you're trying to I mean I'm sorry, back that up. It's like you have a best friend and the best friend's spouse thinks they're cheating on them. And so you're defending your best friend because you're like, okay, you're not like let me tell you, your your my friend is not cheating on you. He's never cheated on you. He will never cheat on you. Now, however, he cheated on you. He cheated on, um, not you, but he cheated on all these other women before you. You know, it's like you're trying to make a point to make the case better. But the more you talk, it's like, oh, you need to be quiet. Like, you know, it's one of those things. Um, so she went online to defend her friends, but... Somehow it got, the story got twisted up and now they're like, everybody's questioning her loyalty to her friend. And then I started thinking about friendship, loyalty and friendship. Like how far does it go? How far should it go? When you have a friend, should you be loyal, 100% loyal to the fullest? Or do circumstances dictate loyalty and when I say circumstances I'm talking about legal things illegal things stuff like that does that determine how loyal you're going to be so when I was looking up friendship I started looking at the bible a little bit because I like looking at the bible for guidance on certain things I said what, is, what does the bible say because I have it right here what does the Bible say about friendship? Of course, we always talk about Jesus and pretty much there's no better friend than this who would give up his life for a friend, you know, that type of stuff. You know, Jesus is the ultimate um, friend when you look in the Bible. And it's a couple of verse, um, you know, 1 Thessalonians 5.11, it says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. So we're supposed to build each other up. 1 Corinthians um, 15.33 says, Do 
not be misled, bad company, corrupts good character. So then you want to make sure that your friends line up with who you are. Ecclesiastics 4 and 9. Two are better than one because they have good return for their labor. And I'll read one more. Um, Ecclesiastics 4, 10. Ecclesiastes, excuse me, 4 and 10. It says, if either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. You know, so it keeps talking about the, um, the value of friendship and what we're supposed to do as friends. We're supposed to build each other up. We're supposed to uphold each other. And we're supposed to... Be loyal to each other. And then when I thought about loyalty, in the Bible, one of the key scriptures, one of the key stories of loyalty is um, three Hebrew boys. That's a good example. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were loyalty, loyal to God, and God was loyal to them to the fullest. It's like they depended on each other. You know, y'all know the story about um, the fiery furnace and how God delivered them out and everybody, and they were pretty much, they knew the end was alleged, supposedly coming, but they're like, even if it does come, my God can and he will. You know, I mean, a powerful story of loyalty. And then when you think about the opposite of that, we our minds automatically go to Judas, the ultimate betrayal. And people will call you a Judas. Because it's, it's a well-known fact that that was the ultimate betrayal. So people use that term today to call someone a Judas because of how he betrayed Christ with the pieces of silver. You know, so when I read these scriptures about friendship, you know, people are really judging her about everything and to be honest I don't think she meant any harm by what she was doing because her intent was not to put anybody on blast it was just I think she said a little too much so she wasn't trying to be disloyal or nothing like that but the thing that's interesting to me about it is this whenever the Bible talk about the Bible talks about friendship it goes both ways both friends are supposed to be loyal. Both friends are supposed to build each other up. It's supposed to be reciprocated on both ends. There's not supposed to be one friend that's more loyal than the other friend. It's not, that's not supposed to happen. Both friends are supposed to be loyal. Both friends are supposed to be um, true. Both friends are supposed to be great toward one another. Like people might say this. You know, if, let's say, for example, this is a good example. Let's say you have a friend that is a drug dealer or you have a friend that admitted that that killed somebody years ago the best thing you could do as a friend is not tell your friend <laughs> that's the best thing you could do as a friend the best thing you could do if you want to get that stuff off your chest there's um people that have confidentiality total confidentiality you could talk to tell those people because and, then, and you might not agree, but it is what it is. Me, as your friend, I'm going to be 100% loyal with you. So if you did do something in your past that's illegal, or if you're doing something currently illegal, my intent will be not to tell anybody. So what that does is I'll put, it'll put me in a position to, be, to possibly um, do perjury in the court system, to possibly go to jail, to possibly have to testify against you. So... My thing is, you being my friend, don't put me in that predicament. Don't put me in a predicament where I have to tell on you. <laughs> don't, just don't do that. It works both ways because some people look at it and they say, well, you're their friend and you're not supposed to put them under the bus and you're not supposed to tell on them and you're not supposed to send them to jail. And I agree with that 100%, but you being my friend, stop killing people. If you're my friend, stop robbing people. Don't put me in a position where I have to choose whether or not I'm going to be at home with my kids or I'm going to be in a jailhouse because I'm trying to protect you. You're behind. Okay? That's all I'm saying. It goes both ways. Mm -hmm. It goes both ways. 
And that's what people don't think about. They're like, well, you know, one of the biggest things, you know, if you watch the mafia movies, they talk about loyalty and to the family and loyalty. I'm like, okay, that's cool, but don't be out there stabbing people and want to give me a commentary about it later. Because you 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 do that mess, guess what's gonna happen? I'm gonna have to turn you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something about it. Don't do that. If you're my friend and you out there in the streets or whatever you're doing, I wanna hear about it. Be my friend and don't talk to me about that mess. Don't put me in a position where I have to possibly tell on you. Because so, cause what happens is. And cops are good for this. Detectives are good for this. They will put you up against each other to see who's going to break first and stuff like that. How many of y'all watch shows where you got these friends or this couple, tight as I don't know what, but as soon as that crime happens, it's like don't they don't ever speak to each other ever again. Because they were put in a bad position. To have to tell on somebody. Nobody wants to tell on you. I'm telling you, I'm not a snitch. I don't want to tell on nobody, but I'm telling you. If you want to sit there and tell me about some illegal stuff, and I got to choose between you and my kids, somebody going to jail and ain't going to be me. And I'm talking about back up against the wall. Like I wouldn't go... I don't believe I will go to the cops and um and just give out information. I don't believe I do that. Just because I feel like it, but I'm just telling you if I, if somebody rolls up at my house and they tell me I have a choice to go to jail or to testify, it'll be a hard all I'm saying is it, it'll be a hard decision to make, a hard decision to make. And if you my friend, don't put me in that situation. That's all I'm saying. So if the stuff was true, untrue, with that situation I was talking about with T.I. and Tiny, the best thing that need to be done is no, they should nobody should know about it. But, as I said before, zoom in. Nobody should know about it, but most of all, excuse me, just don't do it. Just don't do the legal stuff. I mean, just don't do legal stuff, period. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. How about that? If you just don't do it, then uh, we wouldn't have to have this conversation in the first place. Just do the right thing. <laughs> just do the right thing. <laughs> I'm finishing up this pasta. I just want to entertain you guys a little bit. <laughs> I hope I did. But this pasta is good. Mmm. Mmm. Lord have mercy. Mmm. Okay, y'all. I will be finishing this up. But I wanted to let you guys go and joke around with you guys a little bit. <laughs> Chat with you guys. But if you are new to our channel, please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment, and click the post notification bell so you'll be notified by every single time we post a new video. So it felt good sitting down chatting with y'all. Nothing but love and blessings to everyone. Team Jackson, peace and love. Starting to really believe that communication is the key. I think communication is the key. We need to start communicating more. Let's just start communicating more. Let's have more conversations.